Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your October 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. Um, so we are going to take a look and see what's good coming for you guys for October. You can also apply this to any of your placements. Apply this to your own unique situations. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Uh, anyone interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Anyone interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. So let's get started for Capricorn. What messages do we have for, for Capricorn? What's good coming in for Capricorn for October 2024 for Capricorn, for Capricorn here? What messages do we have for, for Capricorn? What's good coming in for Capricorn for October 2024 for Capricorn? We have the Eight of Wands, and also we have the Sun, wow. You guys are experiencing bliss and joy and happiness at this time here. Things are really moving forward for you guys. I feel like you guys are just feeling very energized. You know, energized here, just feeling really good. Some of you guys are receiving, you know, some of you guys have a strong connection from the sun, like with the sun here. Like I feel like the sun just gives you guys really good positive energy here. And things are really moving forward for you guys. Um, so the sun Leo energy, eight of wands, Sagittarius energy here with a two of wands, okay? We also have the Hierophant here. Some of you guys could be going through a huge spiritual awakening. Let's say if you guys have been caught in a rock in a hard place, just hit a crossroads in your life here. Some of you guys are breaking free of that, breaking free of that stagnant energy here, okay? Because I feel like with the Nine of Swords here, I feel like you guys have been stressed for a very long time here. And I feel like you guys could be overcoming the stress and anxiety of being stuck here, okay? You know, one of the things that, uh, that you could be doing yourself that's really best for you or that's good for you is that you could be seeking out a middle person here for tools, knowledge, and wisdom to help you best navigate through this. Let's see what else we have. We have the devil, Capricorn energy here, and the six of pentacles here. Some of you guys could be breaking free of this devil energy here. Yeah. Some of you guys could kind of like, some of you guys could be completely shifting your awareness and shifting your con consciousness at this time here. You know, one of you, some of you guys could have been in this energy of just fixated, like, you know, okay, this is how it is. You know, I can't change or that, you know, things can't get better. But I feel like you're definitely taking matters into your own hands and overcoming this here, okay? Some of you guys could be realizing like, you know what? It doesn't have to be this way. Why does it have to be this way when I could you know, take charge and make that change for myself. The Eight of Wands here and the Six of Swords, some of the Sun card. And we have the Five of Wands here. Wow. You guys have been going through some sort of internal battle here. You know, there's definitely a fixation of like, okay, things have to be this way, you know, because I, I learned this or someone taught me this someone told me this you know i grew up like this like it had to be that way you know so i feel like some of you guys could be completely shifting your awareness here or shifting your uh energies where i feel like anything that has been you know that you learned or that these indoctrinations that you picked up here you're coming to a realization that this is no longer in resonance with who you are so you guys could be letting that go here all right we have the two of wands here and the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo some of you guys could be getting like a job offer here okay and that you guys have to make a decision <coughs> between two job offers or a job offer or a promotion here okay so the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo and the hermit virgo energy we have the star card and the devil and the six of pentacles and also the high priestess here wow some of you guys could be finding your purpose some of you guys are being guided by your inner voice, guided, guided by that inner light to move towards your happiness here 
and to sort of like let go or cut this double energy out. What else do we have here for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? What other good things are coming in for Capricorn for October 2024? We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and also the Eight of Cups here. Wow. This Eight of Cups is a little different in this deck. Look, in this Eight of Cups, this person's like going through some sort of spiritual ascension. And I feel like that's what's happening for you. You guys are going through some sort of transformation, some sort of spiritual ascension here. It has been a long process here for you guys, but I feel like things are happening here. Powerful changes are happening for you guys, okay? You know, Eight of Cups is obviously, you know, a, a, a representation in the traditional tarot deck of walking away from something that's no longer serving you here. Some of you guys could be doing that. Some of you guys could be overcoming your fears, you know, overcoming, you know, com coming out of the dark night of the soul here. We have the Moon card, Cancer, Pisces, and the Soul, which is the Fool card here. I feel like this is one of the biggest transformations of your life here. Yeah, like I really feel like you're stepping out of energies here that's no longer serving a purpose in your life here. And I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, taking what resonates with you and just letting go of the rest that doesn't, basically. Nine of Cups, wow, look at this. This is a really great reading here because I feel like you guys are definitely finding happiness, joy, abundance, fulfillment here at this time here. Wow. You guys are enjoying new experiences here. You're not letting this double energy or that you're not letting any sort of indoctrinations hold you back here. All right. Knight of Pentacles here and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Eight of Cups and also the Four of Cups here. I feel like you guys are over overcoming sadness here. I feel like you guys are also overcoming fear and worry. The moon. And just trusting the process that you've been on here. Six of Wands. So there's, there's definitely some sort of personal victory and personal success here. Interesting. The fall of Jericho. I've been to the walls of Jericho in the West Bank. And I must say, it's quite impressive. Quite impressive, okay? So, uh, by the way, this is like a bi biblical tarot deck. So anything that is, you know, tied to the Bible and stuff like that, that's why this deck looks very, very, very Bible-y. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> the Fool and the Queen of Swords. So we have the King to Queen of Swords, okay. Nine of Swords here and the Empress here. Interesting, wow. Powerful transformations are happening here for you guys. Oh, Capricorn, this is a really great reading. One of your best readings here. Great positive changes are happening for you guys. Let's say if you're in a partnership with somebody here and you've gone through all this with your partnership together here, you guys could be coming out of the other side of this here together. I don't know why I'm getting this, but for some of you guys, some of you guys could have gone through a situation. I mean, this doesn't have to be you. It could be someone else, you know, that you know that has gone through this, where there has been drug addiction with two people, like partnership, and that you guys could be overcoming this here. Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. Wow. You know that the Emperor's an Empress. King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles here. No, King of Swords to the Queen of Swords here. So there could be a partnership here that you both have weathered this storm here and that you guys are coming out of the uh, uh, coming out on the other side here basically okay beautiful reading so capricorn i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye